Hey guys, welcome back to LM Diesel, and today we are going to be replacing the front timing cover on a 5.9 Cummins. Today we're gonna be doing the front timing cover gasket. So we got uh, Alex and Jake here with the first step, which is getting my massive ranch ham bumper off. A couple of y'all commented on Instagram, said that I need to get a sport bumper for it. We'll see, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the first step is getting this bumper off. And then Chris, what's, uh, what's the next step, man? Delete, weight loss. Weight loss, delete. I think it's like $1,500. You know how fast you can go with $1,500? Uh, there's still bolts. Really? That's all y'all. There it is. Let's go over oh. here by the chair. Yeah, that would uh. There we go. Let's right. down a little bit. Wow, that's hefty. Okay, so step one's complete. We gotta cut the bumper off. Next step is we gotta get this horrible condenser off, which still doesn't leak. I don't know how. And then obviously the big, uh, the big intercooler. Um, hopefully we're going to be replacing the trans cooler with a Mishimoto one as well as the radiator which is, uh, which is not here yet. So we got Jake over here we're bringing all the refrigerant out of the AC so that's one of the steps you'll need to do. If you're doing this at home I think you can theoretically just kind of move this to the side but we're, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff here so it makes it a lot easier to just take this condenser off. We got Alex over here, he's taking off the boots for the intercooler. So obviously the big old intercooler will have to come off. Radiator will have to come out. All of the coolant, so all of the oil. This thing's, uh, this thing's about to get some much needed attention. We'll probably go ahead and take your top cross brace off here. We'll pull the radiator and trans cooler out of the way and then we'll be right to the front of the engine. We'll start pulling the valve cover off to get all the rockers and push rods out. And then we'll start coming off with the front of the engine. Get your dual pumps off and power steering. Basically the only thing gonna be left on the front is gonna be the water pump. You'll pull the timing cover off and then it's got hidden bolts behind it. So you'll pull the two bolts for your cam, slide your cam out. You'll pull the oil pump off and then all of the hidden bolts that are behind the timing cover can come off at that point. So what we're doing here is we're assembling the quarter power. We're gonna spread the body open to pull this front crossbar out. Most people take a cutoff wheel and they cut it in half and re-weld it later. That's not how we do it. There we go. That slides out like butter, baby. <laughs> it just comes right back together. Okay. All right, so we uh, we got the fan coming off. Look at that, the front of my engine. So basically all the pulleys need to come off. Yeah, everything but your water pump and let's see, water pump, AC compressor, and alternator stay on. It goes wah, doo -doo -doo. That's how it works. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wah, doo -doo -doo. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep. That's how it works. So now you guys know. Now we know how how a diesel engine <laughs> how a diesel works by Chris Patterson. Right. Wah, doo -doo -doo. Nice. Be sure you capture Jake in his prime. Jake in his prime. There what is, is prime Jake? He holds down fenders. Buffalo yeah. Jake <laughs> holding down the fender. Make sure yeah. 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 Especially with these you had a fluid body bolts taken out. Oh yeah. Do what? You got a fluid damper. That's good. So this is how you don't seal a front cover. They used about four times the amount of silicone here that you should use. It should just be a nice smooth bead through. You shouldn't ever poke up past the edge of this lip and you can see how much they had just past it. That's silicone that could be going inside your engine. If you start this engine before it's set up, that, that stuff right there could be all throughout the engine. It's just not good. From here, you can see how much silicone 
was poking out, you shouldn't ever be able to see your silicone after the job's done. It's just pooched out all around the bolt holes, hanging out the bottom, and the front, the front crank seal also was not installed properly. And you can see where it's been cut, just pieces of it coming off. Wow. That was most of your oil leak right there. Oh, wow. Feel that groove. So tell me, Chris, what is going on here? <laughs> Why well, should I be scared? Your flux capacitor is all done. So we're gonna need a new flux capacitor. <laughs> now this is a, a wear sleeve and it's got lots of wear on the wear sleeve. So okay. we gotta get the wear sleeve off because of the wear. There's too much wear. On the wear sleeve. On the, the wear, wear sleeve, sleeve yeah. Now it's an oversized sleeve thing that you drive on there. It's just got a whole bunch of grooves in it. That makes sense. I really thought you were about to make me buy a crank, Chris. I was like, I don't want to buy a crank right now. You got a few back there. You know. Are they better? They are better. I mean, where? what does a crank cost? Oh, all of it? Yeah. Okay. You get more next week, right? Yeah, you You're know. <laughs> That's what I say, right? I don't check the price. All I do is swipe. Credit oh cards my God. Free. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Buddy says. Yeah. Credit cards are free money mm. until Best. you have to pay it back. No. No, no, you don't pay it back. Who needs a credit score? How long has that been working out for you? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got something cool to show you. Let's see it. You want to see something cool? Let's see something cool, right, man. I'll take a field trip. All right. Everybody knows that the green truck is like, what it is you know a bunch of horsepower street truck right yeah. right we always say it's street truck well i now own a race truck but some assembly is required <laughs> okay. check this dude out <laughs> look at this mohima <laughs> this is the race truck yep. was it in a rollover or something yeah very good customer of mine we've been building this truck for a year or so uh, we spent a whole bunch of money, motor, trans, turbo, injectors, whatever, you know. And then two days after he picked it up for a recent repair, he rolled it. So it's a regular cab, long bed, four wheel drive, third gen. Wow. We're gonna take his powertrain out and stick it in his new truck to him that he bought. And then uh, I'm gonna buy all the leftovers. So I'll take the frame and I'll chop it and chop it and tube it and TIG it and you know, so that's gonna be our, our race truck. Like an actual race truck. Yeah, real real like, you know, carbon fiber front clip, Lexan. Whole nine. Big fancy huh? motor, all that. Yeah. So Chris, tell me uh what are kind of the next steps here? What are we gonna be what are we gonna be doing from this point forward? Whatever you want, man. I mean we got we got a couple bottles and a couple extra solenoids and <laughs> we got a motor or two. <laughs> I mean at some point this thing's gonna go. But no, from we're the, halfway there. From the project. I mean, it's real easy to pull it out right now. No, nah, but like on this job specifically, oh. let's. Well, I'm gonna take over the project of getting this bad boy off because that's really gonna not be fun. Okay. And then um, Jake is arranging our power steering cooler to give us a little bit more workroom. I'm sure Alex is about to walk over here and take the camshaft out and then get the tools to drop all the lifters and then. So okay. that's the plan. Yeah. Sweet. I like your silicone job, man. You did a really good job there. I know. So you, good, You man. really did good. I yeah. just yeah, so yeah. good. Good job. Luke. You must have been a plumber, like, putting in bathtubs and raining your fingers. It just was it. like, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. You're one of those guys that likes watching the videos about the sounds of, like, when they cut Oh, ASMR soap. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they cut soap? Yeah. You're the RTV spreader. You're the RTV guy. Dude, <laughs> that's so funny. So these are the dowels. You push them down, and you can kind of see right there where it'll fit into the tappet you're gonna hit it down in it and then you can you can see this one it comes up just a little bit so i see hold it up and then there's gonna be another one and we'll rubber band them together so that it stays up off the cam so you can pull the camera nice so we got alex pulling the camshaft out it's hot it's very <laughs> This is very hot. Yeah, this truck was running like an hour ago, by the way, and now it's like completely apart. I'm impressed, honestly. We'll let's see if Jake can get it. Yeah, it's still hot. Jake with those real man hands. Yeah, real. It takes hot. a real man to hold a hot cam. That, my friends, is a hot cam. So Alex just took the second, <laughs> my second fuel pump off. And we're uh, pulling the timing case off. To the whole the timing gas case, behind yeah. it. So pump will come off with the case, but we'll have to take all the lines off the pump. And yeah, this, it's this guy right here. It's gonna have to, going to have to come off. So here's the timing cover. This is uh, what we need to fix. So right here, 
on this gasket, you see how it's curved here? Yeah. It shouldn't be curved right there. That's where the gasket has slipped down because there's no bolts through this whole section. Mm. And so the gasket slipped down. So these people just RTV'd it instead of re removing the whole case and replacing that gasket. There. I'm doing it correctly. So Alex right now is scraping all this old gasket off. If you want this job to work and nothing to leak, you have to do a good job of scraping all the gasket off. Otherwise it will definitely leak again. So we got Buddy over here doing some scraping. Yeah, well, seal. yes, yes, try to score the metal. It's, 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 it's like paint. You just score it really nice, and then the primer lays down good and it seal. works, right? It's a, it's a good seal. Yeah. No. And you want a good seal on these. <laughs> so be sure and just take, take the razor like this and, and just like, carve your initials. Just carve your initials into it, right? I think um, this was a couple tubes. <laughs> it's just like all of the silicone, right? It is. It's terrible, dude. It's like way too much silicone. These gaskets come with the little tab on the bottom you got to cut them off so you, and then you cut your finger off <laughs> but you try not to right so this gasket does it you just cut that section off yeah, does it actually that stick to it or well like, is there adhesive on it or does it just uh, no what we're gonna do is we're gonna rtv it on we're gonna rtv it on both sides so that it's rtv'd on this and on the block then we're gonna bolt it down let it sit so this is the section that was leaking on yours there's no bolt here and this is a common Cummins leak. And they, they put this little silicone strip here to try to prevent it from slipping and leaking, but it doesn't work. Oh. And so we go ahead and we RTV both sides of this gasket with a really thin coat. Okay. And that has prevented it from leaking again. So Jake, you're putting uh, RTV on the, that's the top of the oil pan? Yeah. Okay. And then we seal up it, we push it up into that corner up there so we get a nice good seal at the base of the block. New gasket going on. Gasket is on. Now you can see that little lip he's talking about. It's in between those two bolts and there really should be a bolt like right, right there so. yeah yeah let's go ahead and set that on all right so we put all of our long bolts in for now this is going to give this RTV a chance to set up okay. and hold the gasket into place. So long bolts first, kind of hold the gasket in place, let the RTV set up. What size are these bolts? Do you know? They're 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. Okay. Yeah. And see right here, they have a, a bolt that goes through on the outer cover. Right. But it's a short bolt. If they had made that a long bolt, they'd fix a huge problem. Man. And these are our hidden bolts that we had talked about earlier. Okay. They live behind the cam. Well, yeah. huh. These are a T40 Torx. What are these? Uh, what are all these bolts torqued to? Is it really more just like just getting them tight? Uh. I want to say they're like 27 foot pounds. So Jake is uh, putting the oil pan bolts in. It's very important that you do that so that your silicone sets. And now we can leave that alone for a while and it's all going to set up and be happy. Just let it dry. Bitty bit pooching out there. Yep. That's how it should be. You shouldn't have that huge glopping out you like what it had before. Just a little bit yep. of silicone. Yeah, you definitely don't want to over silicone these when you're putting them on just the right amount. Yep. Otherwise you'll get a leak like I did. Nice, it looks good guys. Now if you're out there, if you're in front of a state trooper, we're torquing the oil pump down 
and we're torquing the cam hold down. What's the bolts. Spec? Uh, we're 18 foot pounds. For both? Yeah. Nice. It's a 13 millimeter head for all of them. 13 millimeter head. Yeah, you have four on your oil pump and you've got two holding your cam down. So, Alex is getting the twin fueler kit back on. So Chris is about to hammer on, what is that thing called again? It's the wear sleeve for all the wear, man. It's the wear sleeve, so he's got the hammer. We're using the Alex's trick, so if this goes wrong, it's all Alex's fault. Okay, all right, so new wear sleeve, here it goes. Say it works pretty good. Now you get the dampener and go back over it. Yep, the dampener will suck it all the way flush. People put the oversized seals in because like, like that sleeve we pulled off earlier, you felt the grooves in it. That groove can happen to the snout of the crankshaft. And so what, what this does is it gives you a nice fresh surface on that crankshaft that could potentially be grooved. So, it turns out I actually have a fluid dampener, so that's cool. Well, it looks like we're going to have to get some new ARP bolts here for the fluid dampener. Sick. So, we got Alex over there putting some sweet RTV on the cover. Of course, we got a new seal there as well. So, Chris hammered that in. So, we got all of the rockers in. Jake got those in. And they are looking nice. So now we just need to get that cover on and also do this uh, billet front freeze plug. And we'll be good to go and get the rest of the stuff on. Okay, so Alex just put the cover on and uh, I should have repainted it. <laughs> it doesn't look great, but whatever. You don't see most of it anyways. You don't really see it. And point is, is it's not gonna leak now. And there's not an inch of silicone pouring there's out. There's not an inch of silicone. Very true. I got that red on red engine. So whoever owned this truck before, well, whoever worked on it before, you suck. Because these bolts here that Alex is now tapping on the front cover were stripped. So we're having to tap those uh, to make sure we get a good seal on this thing. The other thing we're about to do, which Jake's about to do, is we're about to put our first freeze plug in. Bam, there's a new one. Whichever way it goes, you always have to double check. I think it's that one. I don't know though. That way? I'll just fake it till I make it. Well, first thing you want to do is find you a good chisel that has a good chip in it like that. Because what you're hoping happens is you're hoping it chips again and it gets you in the eye and then you're just handicapped for a while. So. That got real dark. You're putting it further in. Put it in the center and hit it with a big hammer. There she goes. Wrong way. Nice. And it is out. Very nice. What you want to do is find fan hub thing. And you want to put it in in a way that the fan hub does not sit flush. Oh, wait, it's supposed to sit flush? It's not supposed ah, to sit flush. It's supposed to sit in there. Ah, oh, okay. Chris had it upside down for those of you at home. Oh, <laughs> no, Chris didn't have it upside down. Hey, Chris did have it upside all, down. All that matters is we found it and we fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was I'm found this one. and it was fixed. So, showing it up there a second ago. just like that, there. it's there. Pretty much, you do. The fan hub holds that in. You bolt the fan hub on. It's just an over. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all don't know that movie. Flush, clean, nice and shiny. Shiny parts are always nice to have, even if you never see them. Even if you never see them. Even if you never. But see you them. know that they're there. So but that's, you know that you're there. That counts, right? That's, that's part of it, right? You know, it's like, ooh, I got the shiny shine. Hit 26. Say what? 
air P bolts for the fuel damper. Alright, so we got fluid dampener going in. And the ARP bolts. We got the ARP bolts going in. Right. You might as well torque it. It said 90? 90 is what it said, yeah. And we got the belt going on here. Alright, we're about to start this thing up. What tune have you been driving around on? It's on tune two right now. I know he, he he never puts it on like four or three. Three is should just be one. <laughs> so why is it? Why are the other ones even there? Nobody knows. Big conspiracy. Are y'all ready? Yep. Fire in the holes. <laughs> Hey, it sounded real good, actually. It sounded real smooth. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. All right, so to kind of explain a little bit with this video, I wanted to provide a little bit of explanation as to this video and kind of what you need to do. So we did a lot of work to the truck that made sense to do because we were already in there doing the timing cover. So when you're doing the timing cover gasket, everything has to come off the front. And so because of that, it made sense to also replace like the trans cooler, which I'll be making a video about in the future, uh, the radiator, which I'll also be making a video about in the future. And uh, if there was a little bit of confusion to change that gasket on that cover, you actually have to pull the cam out. And so since the cam had to come out anyway, we went ahead and put a Hamilton 188 to 20 in there, which that's next video, next week, hopefully, talking about the install of that. So yeah, if there was a little bit of confusion, that it felt like the video was jumping around a little bit, it's because we did a lot of stuff at once, and I kind of wanted to focus this video just on fixing the timing cover gasket. We also did valve springs and uh, and just a lot, a lot of other little maintenance as well. So in the video next week, hope to see y'all there. But yeah, we're gonna be talking about installing the cam, and I'm also gonna be doing a little bit of a review on it and just kind of explaining how it changed the truck and uh, what the differences were. So anyway, appreciate y'all taking the time and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Wraith truck. Oh, oh. <laughs> we'll set him on fire. He's covered in brake clean currently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, were you getting a little nervous there? Yeah. They're not look, he's, look, he's a little red. Jake's a little red, he wasn't sure. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>